The fire destroyed New Life Christian School in Fayetteville on New Year's Eve, and today, 100 students were back on campus. WRL Fayetteville reporter Gilbert Bays talked to the pastor who vowed to keep the school up and running while they rebuild. Well, this is the first day back to school for students at New Life Christian Academy. This is recess, and they're having it in the shadow of their school building that nearly burned to the ground on New Year's Eve. The sounds of children fill the air once again at New Life Christian Academy. They're playing in the shadow of their school that was destroyed by fire 10 days ago. Ania Wilkins is a fourth grader devastated by the loss. Because like, I know that there was stuff in there that we were going to use this year. Like we had iPads, computers, and new books and stuff. And I was like, man, I was really planning on using this stuff this year. Pastor Alan McLaughlin took cell phone video New Year's Eve while he stood by helplessly and watched the school go up in flames. McLaughlin says the fire was a setback, not the end of the school he and his wife started 25 years ago. His administration is holding class in the church's New Life Center on campus. We, last night we sort of uh, divided the gym, put some dividers up, brought some chairs in, and this is the high school and the junior high school classes that were destroyed in the building. The classroom spaces are tight and eyes are focused on computers and books that weren't destroyed by fire. The youngsters are aware their school has burned down, but their teachers say the students are resilient. It's devastating, but the fact to know that they still believe that we can rebuild. The first thing that my students asked me this morning is, when are we going to start rebuilding? While engineers and the insurance company figure out the next steps, the pastor says his focus remains on taking care of his students during a difficult time. The best kids in the world, the best students in the world, young men, young ladies, couldn't beat them. So the plan is to tear down the old building and build some new classrooms. In the meantime, classes continue for the students here at New Life Christian Academy. In Fayetteville, Gilbert Bays, WREL News. And the pastor says the school is still scrambling to replace the books and the computers lost to the fire. If you would like to help, just visit the church's website. A link to it is at the end of the story on WREL.com.